Hey everyone, what's going on? It is Eclipse or Justin, and welcome back to a brand new video where today we are playing Pokemon Go. I don't think the game is dead at all. We just had a really nice update recently to this game, and I have really been enjoying playing it. Ever since I went to Vegas a couple months ago, I started getting back into it, and I've been really, really enjoying it ever since. So if you do enjoy Pokemon Go, definitely drop a like, let me know, because I'll be in Vegas again next week, and I could easily make some more videos. But today, I will be evolving 20-plus Pokemon in my... Uh, inventory including a Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and a Charmander. A huge tip I'm sure all of you guys know this by now. If you want to level up a lot faster, go into your items. If you have any lucky eggs, always use one of those before you start evolving. So I went ahead and favorited every single Pokemon I will be evolving in this episode, but before I do that, I want to show you guys my current CP status and what my largest Pokemon are in terms of their CP. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of Taurus up there, and everything else is quite a low CP for being a level 20 because um, I've always done the Lucky Egg strategy of always evolving uh, on my Pokemon and getting mass XP for doing it. So let's start off with Charmander because Charizard is my favorite Pokemon, and getting closer to a Charizard is what I really want to do. I have no idea what the uh, like rate is of massively increasing your CP. But I'm sure it can't be that small. It was like a 400 plus, so I'm assuming um, around 750, maybe, for a Charmeleon. Obviously, a lot of these Pokemon will be brand new to my Pokédex, so uh, that'll be the added benefit of getting even more XP. We got 783, not too bad. So, let's keep it going. Bulbasaur is up next now. I do already have uh, an Ivysaur because, again, the update allowed for all of their evolutions to be caught massively. So, um, I did catch an Ivysaur but, and a Wartortle, but I caught none of the Charmander evolutions besides just Charmander himself. So, this isn't too crazy, but... I'm guessing around like a 720 CP? I'm 714, I'm, I'm pretty good at this so far. And the last of the starters is Squirtle. We all know him, we all love him, going right into a War Turtle. And I really wish I could have caught enough of these three starters to get one of them to their final stage. Either a Charizard, a Venusaur, or Blastoise. Obviously, I would have wanted a Charizard personally, but this is not too bad either. A nice War Turtle to get maybe a 600? 610. I'm getting really, really good at guessing these CPs. Uh, I already have um, a Kingler about, I think it was like a 1070. I may have shown it in the beginning or I may have transferred it by now, but it is going to get blown away by what CP this Kingler will be. Let's see what it is. Uh, I don't even know what to guess. I want to say like 1400, but that's, I think that's way too high. Come on. What's it going to be? Almost elite CP level Kingler. Not too bad. I'm not sure if those uh, moves are a good moveset for this bad boy, but not too bad. Now this one I'm really excited for. A 571 CP Growlithe should turn into a really high CP Arcanine. So let's see. I have always wanted a really high CP Arcanine, and I think this is my best shot. So uh, let's see what it is. Go away, Snapchat. Go away. What we got? What we got? What we got? A 1460, there we go, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, bite and Bulldoze. Now this one kind of hurts me because we have 75 candies for Ghastly, and I already have a Haunter, but it's a really low level CP. It's even lower than this Ghastly right here, so I just don't see a big reason to evolve it to a Gengar and kind of just waste all the candies. So I'm gonna have to deal with it. Use 25 of these candies to evolve this Ghastly right here and hope it's a really high CP that will end up being a really high CP Gengar. An 821 Haunter, that's way more than I thought it was going to be, so now we only need 49 more candy, and that should be a really high CP level Gengar. Next up, just a quick Psyduck. I think I hatched this thing out of an egg uh, at some point when I was walking all around Michigan uh, last week, so shouldn't be anything too crazy. I don't think I have a Golduck yet, though, so that's at least a brand new Pokemon to add in my Pokedex, as well as get a bunch more XP from it. But um, I'm guessing around a 1,000... 1,000 gold duck. What we got? 1,063. Not too bad. You have no idea how hard it was for me to find oddishes in the wild to evolve this one right here. I, there's, they're like incredibly rare around me. I don't know. Like where I am now, there are no Pokemon. Basically everything I've caught is from Vegas and Michigan because my area just sucks. But uh, 
finally, finally got a Gloom working towards that Vile Plume and maybe a Blossom here soon because Gen 2 is obviously getting involved in. A 623, not too bad. I'll take it. One of the coolest Pokemon to ever get, in my opinion, in Gen 1 was an Alakazam because you had to trade for it and it was a Psychic type and it was so, so, so good. So I am slowly saving up Abra's and we finally have enough for Kadabra. I'm hoping that in the next coming weeks I will finally get myself an Alakazam because I love that thing so much. The transfer to evolve Pokemon in Gen 1 were always some of my favorites because of how rare they were to get. You had to like do it with yourself or have friends, and who's got that? So, I mean, finally getting ourselves a Kadabra. What CP will it be? A 718, not too bad. That, that should probably be like a 13 or 1400 Alakazam. Again, it's just a random Pokemon. Venonat to Venomoth, nothing crazy. I already have a Venomoth, I believe. So this isn't really anything too crazy. I'm trying to skip through these, like, random, not super useful Pokemon a bit faster. A 970, though, that's actually... That's not too bad. Next up, we have almost identical Eevees to evolve. 366 and a 365. Now, I'm not going to name them. I want it to be completely random. I would love a Vaporeon and a Flareon. I believe I already have a Jolteon. If I don't, then that must be uh, Nicole. But I want definitely Vaporeon because it's so... There we go. We got it. <laughs> Vaporeons are so good. I'm guessing like a 1300 or so Vaporeon here. 1270, not too bad. Water Gun, Aqua Tail. If you guys know good movesets, let me know if that's good or not. And the only reason I want a Flareon, or whichever one I don't have already, is just to complete the Pokedex. But Vaporeons are some of the best. I guess we're about to find out. It's a Jolteon. Do we have it? We don't, so we must have had a Flareon? We had a Flareon. Jolteon was Nicola's Pokemon all along. A 1092, not great. I really wish it was better. <laughs> the Parasect, what's the CP gonna be? I love seeing these brand new Pokemon being entered in the Pokedex. That's so much XP. A 740? That thing's worthless. Okay, we have both the male and female Nidoran here, so let's see what we got. Alright, brand new, of course. A 596. That should be a really strong Nino Quinn in the future. Again, obviously brand new. A 541. Again, it should be a pretty strong Nino King in the future as well. Ah, the Santa Pikachus. Now, if you guys don't know, the Santa Pikachu does keep the Santa hat when you turn it into a Raichu. And I'm also pretty sure by the day I'm recording this, the Pikachus with the Santa hats are now gone. The festive Pikachus are no more. We may get it back this upcoming 2017 Christmas, but for now, you cannot find them ever. They are impossible to find now, so I made sure to keep a few more just lying around. Don't really know why, but we got ourselves a nice 925 festive Raichu with Sparkle. Spark and Brick Break. I feel like that's really bad. We only have six left, those being a Pidgey, Meowth, Rattata, Ekans, Weedle, and Caterpie. So let's go ahead and speed run these. And there you have it guys, those were all the evolutions we had to do today. I actually didn't realize we had enough to do a Pidgeot, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and check out the CP and see what our highest CPs are now compared to the beginning of this video. Let's scroll up. Alright, so we have a lot of differences now. Obviously those three Taurus are right up there in the in the top four still, but our Arcanine is now number one. Kingler is up there, Vaporeon is really hype. That Pidgeot got up there. Jolteon, one of our old Pidgeots, and the Golduck. So, not too bad. Now the moment of truth though, how much XP did we get? A lot. 31,000 XP right there from those 20 plus evolutions, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and of course, show it around. Comment down. Do you want more Pokemon Go videos? I can gladly do more. I will gladly do it. Obviously, I can now record my phone via my Elgato, and I know how to record my phone on the go if I'm wanting to do like a, a vlog of sorts as well. So, other than that, I will talk to you all later. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.